turn it around. There we are. Hey, lunch time. You already know what's going on. Ah, oh, hard the crust. crust is very hard. Hard crust today. <laughs> All right. So what do we got for our lunch break? I'll tell you. Um, today we are eating Dad's homemade bread with orange marmalade as our jelly. And are we eating sunflower butter? Mm -hmm. Oh, well then, yeah, we're eating sunflower butter uh, with that too. And I'd say the pairing is very good. Good. It's uh, mm. very bright tasting. Yeah, orange. with orange marmalade. Had some leftover from Christmas goose. A cooked goose for <laughs> everyone. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. Wow, that's a really nice, nice sandwich. Yeah, it is. We have uh, been able to get an inventory of some pretty cool jellies and confits and other types of marmalades. So in the coming weeks, we'll have a selection of interesting sandwiches. Almost all, though, with the sunflower butter. We always have an interesting selection of sandwiches. What uh, What did we just, uh, we just tried a new butter this week. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me tell you. So, I went through a phase. I'm looking up all these different kinds of nut butters. And, you know, there's peanut butter. I've tried, like, cashew butter, which is okay. Sunflower butter was the best one. It's super sensational. I've talked about it before. It's my all-time favorite. I put it on every... You know, PB and J or S. What is it? Sunflower S F and J. You got the S F and J sandwiches. O, 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 o M for orange marmalade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, sunflower has been the uh, top of the list. That's what I've been going to, and I haven't been able to find anything new since sunflower butter until two nights ago. Last night, uh, we went to Whole Foods, and there was something I've only read about in their aisles which was the 88 Acres brand watermelon seed butter. And I'd seen it online and I was thinking to myself, like, it looked like online, like the only place I'd be able to get it was through Amazon, like order it to, you know, my apartment. But uh, no, Whole Foods had it. So I had to grab it off the shelf and take it home, try it out. So we had some taste testing with it. We put the watermelon butter, watermelon seed butter, on some uh, sourdough bread or something. Bland. <laughs> Did not make the cut. That was <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> I had really high expectations, high hopes for the for the watermelon seed butter, but uh, there was nothing to be celebrated with. Uh, nothing special there. It was very bland and it was dry and I was expecting it to be fruity, uh, but it was um, tasteless and uh, overall a huge disappointment. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. So. We're going to try the pumpkin seed butter next. So, kudos to 88 Acres for attempting it. True. True. Although there are some things that maybe you don't bring to market. But we'll try the pumpkin seed. A high hopes for the pumpkin seed. That's about it. And uh, you can see our last video, we were on the top of those mounds over there. We're now on the other side. This is the road bridge. Uh, there's a trail bridge that we're gonna eventually cross downstream. Otherwise, it's just a nice place to have a lunch. Absolutely. Lots of snowmobile trails and tracks. Uh, that seems to be the thing to do over here is snowmobile. We also saw a, like a plow, not really a plow, but like a, what the heck was that? <laughs> it was some kind of a treaded tractor or something. Yeah, it was like a tractor, yeah. Um, uh, going down the path on this side, so that was interesting to see. 